Yo, what's up, guys? How's everybody doing tonight? How is everyone doing tonight? The Matrix are trying to shut Xbox down. Uh, Microsoft is probably one of the top players in the Matrix, bro. Hate to break it to you. Microsoft, it doesn't get much more Matrix than fucking Microsoft, my guy. Nah, their Q4 earnings were not good. Their Q4 earnings were pretty bad. You don't want your console sales to be dropping this early in the generation, man. Especially when there's no such thing as supply shortages. So, that's kind of the issue there. Is they shouldn't be dropping at this point in the generation of anything they should be increasing as your hardware is more readily available. This fucking melee weapon sucks. You have to hit people like twice. But I need it for easy XP. No, as a whole, they're not good. <laughs> There's no way to twist it. It's not good. Like, gaming revenue should be up dramatically higher because simply the fact is more video games are coming out that are $70, which means Microsoft gets a bigger cut of third-party games. No, their sales are not good. Like, those numbers should be dramatically higher. Like, think about it. There's... Their game reven their gaming division revenue increased by one percent compared to a year ago. That means that despite all of the consoles they've sold in the span of a year, people are spending about as much money on Xbox compared to last year. Which means the consoles are not driving revenue. Even though they have more consoles out in the wild, their revenue is not increasing. That's not a good thing. Like, if I'm making $2 billion in revenue off of 10, billion or 10 million consoles, and now I have 20 million consoles out in the wild, and I'm still making that $2 billion, that's bad, because each console is earning less money than last time. So, that's actually a really negative metric. When your install base grows, your revenue overall for the division should be increasing rapidly. And then that 5% increase in service revenue as well is not really that great either, because that could be attributed to the price increase. I don't think Microsoft gives a fuck about gaming in general, man. Microsoft as a company does not care about gaming. Their gaming division is like literally just, you know, a passion project or a good tax write-off. Like it's a place they can throw money to inflate the size of their sh like share price that, you know, they don't really give a fuck if it does well or bad or whatever. It's like Amazon with their uh, online retail. They don't really give a fuck about it. They don't want it to make money. They just want it to be as big as possible to inflate the value of the company. 
Rick Rod with a five. I'm a simple man. When I see a notification from Griff, I stop whatever I'm watching and click. I appreciate it, man. Big ups. Hopefully you won't do that uh, for the birth of your first child, but who knows? I haven't watched Armored Core gameplay yet. I was going to watch it tonight. I generally have zero interest in the game. If I can get it for free 99, then I'll play it. But otherwise, I'm not going to get it. I know for a fact, even if I did buy it, it'd be a game I would touch once and never finish. So unless I can get that shit for free 99, zero interest. I don't have the level of autism to sit there and balance fucking mech components for three hours before attacking a certain mission. Like, that ain't for me, man. Yep, Xbox is a tax write-off, but it also serves to inflate Microsoft's share price. Because they can claim the revenue and just make it look like there's even more money flowing into, you know, Microsoft than there actually is. I don't know. A lot of companies have loser uh, business uh, sectors. Like Amazon with online retail. Amazon would technically be a more profitable company if they completely cut out Amazon.com and just did AWS. They got rid of Prime Video, they got rid of Twitch. If they got rid of all that shit and just focused on AWS, they would be an insanely profitable company. But they don't care about that. They just want to keep growing larger and larger. And then they use their AWS money to subsidize their other business ventures. So, kind of same boat with Microsoft and Xbox. I forgot I turned off my audio last night. Was playing a COD all day. Yeah, I need to finish up my uh, final prestige before the season resets. Yep, I'm playing with the controller. I was getting too good at the game, so I had to gimp myself. Who said anything about balancing mechs for three hours? I played every armored core and never spent three hours balancing a mech. Oh my god, dude. See? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Thank you for proving my point. Yeah, I've had Orion forever, man. I had it within the first couple months. Scotty Man with the 10. Here's Synthetic Man's new video about Barbie. Oh, God. 
Yeah, I had that on the list of shit to possibly check out tonight, but we can definitely check it out, man. I saw he uploaded it when I was walking my dog earlier. I haven't had a chance to watch it. Did I get a 4090? No. I did not. Timothy Marco with the five, so my grandma is about to be cremated soon. My mom wants to keep an urn in our place, which is a bit weird, but I'll jive with it. My grandpa is well. Sorry to hear about that, man. That fucking sucks. But yeah, my grandma has my grandpa in an urn on her fireplace as well. I don't know. I think that's just like an old generation type thing. I personally don't get it. Like, I don't really know why you'd want somebody's ashes in the house. But yeah, my grandma did the same thing with my grandpa. But really sorry to hear about that, dude. Hopefully you're hanging in there. Holy shit. Not only is this controller gimping my fucking aim, but also my frames, bro. What the fuck? Uh, Oscar Rodriguez with the five. Just returned from Oppenheimer. For a three-hour drama, it had the intensity of a horror film, like There Will Be Blood, Kudos, and all. Glad you enjoyed it, man. I will watch it when it comes to Netflix or something, but I don't know. 
Glad that you enjoyed it, though. I just can't watch movies in theaters anymore. That shit would turn into nap time real quick. Shit, I could've could have kept shooting and I would have had both. Timothy Marco with the five have been pretty good. Me and almost my whole family surrounded her at the hospital bed as her vitals declined. The death we all want. That's good, man. At least it was a uh, you know, peaceful death, it sounds like. And everybody was there, so I guess it worked out well. But hope you're doing alright, bro. Who's your president in 2024? Uh, if nothing dramatic changes in the current political landscape, it'll probably still be Biden. Did I watch the Barbie movie? Fuck no. Dude, I haven't been to a movie in, like, years. The last time I went to a movie was with my dad. Like, I don't even remember how long ago. So, no. I don't go to movies because if I do go to a movie, I fall asleep, like, nine times out of ten. If I watch a movie, I have to be doing something else at the same time. I just can't sit there and watch a fucking movie for like two hours. Because usually they don't pull me in enough because they don't give you enough time to like actually get invested in the story. And then also, it's a dark room with recliner seats and you're not allowed to have your phone out. And all you have is a screen to look at. So I'm naturally going to like doze off. So, especially if I'm by myself, because then you're just sitting there watching a movie with literally nothing else. Is everyone hyping up the Barbie movie because um because it has good marketing. It had very good marketing. Not to mention that like most women age like 40 and under grew up with Barbie. So, you know, a large portion of the population is very nostalgic for the IP.
Is it really all that different from a superhero movie? Because, I don't know, man. I highly doubt it. It probably is pretty similar to a superhero movie's plotline. If I should recommend a video about the female Ben Shapiro, why? Who cares about Ben Shapiro? <laughs> Fuck. Is Ben Shapiro really even that relevant anymore? Does he still have like a pretty uh, large following or is he kind of waned? hear much about Ben Shapiro anymore. Fucking Lord, what? What's wrong? <laughs> Brett Cooper is awesome. Yeah, the only thing I know about her is she bitched about a fucking unofficial mod in The Sims, which is literally fucking retarded. Like, why the fuck are you gonna bitch about an unofficial mod in The Sims? Like, literally anyone can make a fucking mod for a video game. That is the only thing I've ever heard about her. It was a fucking abortion mod in The Sims. Basically, you could abort your fucking kid if one of your Sims got pregnant. Like, it was just some random fucking community mod, and she got pissed off over it. It's like, bro, what the fuck? I'm sure there's, like, probably fucking school shooting mods in The Sims. Who fucking cares?
Like, it's not even in the fucking game. That's what's wild. It's like literally a fucking unofficial mod. And even then, just don't have a fucking abortion. Like, I don't know. If you're really that pressed about your fucking fictional Sims having an abortion, just don't have a fucking virtual abortion in the fucking Sims. I don't know. Like, why is that such a big fucking... Like, I don't know. Bro, shit's wild. Oski Woski with the 10. Uh-oh. <laughs> No, there's a lot of people that play The Sims. The Sims is very popular. It's one of EA's biggest games. It makes them a fucking fortune with all the DLC they sell. Oh, are you fucking shitting me, dude? Why can I not kill that little fucking Fanook? Look at these little fucking bitches, man. Camping like absolute degens. Fucking suck my dick, bruh. No, I'm not playing The Sims. What the fuck? Why would I play The Sims, bro? That shit is boring as fuck. That's like a women's game, man. That's like some shit they play in between text messages. <laughs> That's like some shit that fucking, uh, you know, teenage girls to like mid 30s women play in between texting. Yeah, we're gonna watch the Armored Core gameplay. Spoiler alert, I'm probably not gonna like it. <laughs> but yeah, we'll check it out. I haven't seen it yet. I highly doubt whatever they show is gonna convince me to buy it, but... We'll give it a watch! Kurakai with the five, I started growing some plants. My butterfly weed and tangerine dream peppers are growing nicely, and I have apple and starfruit trees planted as well. Nice, man. Make sure you uh, put up fucking, what's this shit called? Like chicken wire around them because animals, especially like deer and shit, will come in and eat it. They like to peel the bark off of young trees, so. Keep that shit protected. They like to eat fresh foliage and peel the bark off of young trees, so... You could just get, like, a mosquito net and put it around it, and that way it keeps bigger bugs away from it, too. Oh, they're indoors? Nice. Yeah, just make sure you don't get those, like... I forget what the shit's called, but there's, like, this pesticide stuff you need for indoor plants. Because a certain type of bugs will infest the soil if you're not careful. Juan with the two? Some dating advice. I don't need that shit. 
what is this? Welcome back to the comments. Oh God. Go ask a girl out. No. That's what the Matrix wants me to do, man. They want me to stop grinding. The Matrix wants me to stop grinding, guys. I won't give in. I'm not boxing, I'm key. Unless I was making like five to ten million dollars, nope, not worth the fucking head trauma risk. The only person I would box is DSP, just because I want to punch him in the face. That'd be it. Otherwise, I don't really give a fuck about boxing anyone else. Dude, you would never be able to fight Keffels because it would never be sanctioned. They don't allow trans men to fight, um, whatever the fuck. Because Keffels would try to claim, like, oh, I'm female, and then you'd probably have to go to the UK to get a sanctioned fight, which is what most amateur fighters have to do, because they're way more fucking lax, but... Uh, Keffels would never pass a fucking drug test. <laughs> so, you wouldn't be able to, um... You wouldn't be able to. Most likely. JBT with a two who pays on the first day, Griffin? Uh, me. If I ask him out, I'm gonna pay. I'm not broke, man. Uh, make the girl pay? No. Dude, if I ask a chick out, I'm gonna pay. But that's the key. I ain't asking anybody else, so I don't have to pay anyway. Yo, what happened to Super Chats? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> They're still coming in, bro. I don't know. What do you mean, what happened to them? Yeah, it may just be the device or browser you're on, man. Try a different one. Sometimes it glitches out. What is a good stock to invest in as a newcomer to investing? A S&P 500 index fund.
Timothy Marco with the two. Final Fantasy, I prefer first reality. Oh my god. <laughs> no, dude. I want to live in a fucking fantasy world. Will with the two, watch Iron Chef, Dad's A5, Wagyu Steak. If it's a TV show, I can't watch it. Because that sounds like the name of a TV show. If that's from a TV show, I definitely can't watch it because all those food network channels and like TV shows crack down super hard on social media when people started fucking watching that shit. Like Pokemon. When they used to watch Gordon Ramsay for like eight hours a day. It's a YouTube channel? Alright, we can probably check it out then. How could you not be playing one of the old Call of Duty, Griffin? You bring shame not only to us COD fans, but FPS fans in general. Uh, because I need to finish my prestige this season. I don't know. Is there an issue with that? Tagger man with a 20 if you got time. Here's the man Andrew Tate stole his shtick from. This is a moment from Dr. Phil in 2006 ending his best part. All right, well, depending on how long that is, I don't know if I can watch it. So we may just have to watch the ending part because Dr. Phil is another one of those that is super fucking copyrighted. Because people used to just watch it on stream for like hours. So we can attempt to watch it, but depending on how long it is, I don't think we'll be able to watch the full thing. It doesn't matter if it's been on YouTube, because you can put TV shows up on YouTube, they just get claimed. But if they get claimed in a live stream, the live stream gets pulled down, so... It's kind of different rules. So even if the video's up, you can still get hit, so it just depends. But if it's not that long, then it should be okay. But typically, 30 seconds to a minute is all you can get away from. Oscar Rodriguez with a 5. I get Final Fantasy as an anthology, but are these games in the same universe? I played 7, 15, and 16, and they seem super disconnected, like Twilight. No, they're not. They're in the same universe, but the stories have nothing to do with each other. Like, the overarching Final Fantasy universe is literally the only thing that it does. It just, like, takes similar concepts. Like, Phoenix Down is a revive. You use potions to heal. You have magic. Like... They're, they ride chocobos. Like, it's just minor little fucking details that every entry, like, reuses. So you'll detect kind of, like, similar fucking themes throughout the games, but none of them have any connection to each other. So 7, 15, and 16 are in completely separate timelines, universes. They just share, like, the common, like, Final Fantasy tropes that the franchise is known for. Also, like, monster design, things like that. Weapons, items, uh, the summons, or the icons in 16. Like, that's basically all of this. There is literally zero connection between any of the games, though. Unless it's, like, 10 and 10-2, or, you know, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and then Rebirth. Or 13, 13, 2, and 13 Lightning Returns. Like, those are all connected, but 15, 16, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. None of those have any connection to each other. If Hopefully that makes sense. Oh, fuck, dude. I just reset my weapon. Fuck me. I 
think I'm done with it anyway, so it doesn't matter. But so it's irritating. Oh, dude, the, the fucking... Everybody already knew the PS5 SSD thing was a fucking lie. Like, that's the thing, is anybody with a pair of fucking eyes could have seen that. It was, like, complete bullshit. I mean, there's nothing in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart that's actually technically demanding. That shit could have probably run on a PlayStation 3 just with toned-down graphics. Like, there's nothing really impressive that game does from a technical standpoint. I mean, I knew that shit was complete bullshit the second they started talking about it. Like, people were saying that SSDs improve fucking frame rate and resolution. Like, they make your GPU run bad. Like, a bunch of just wild shit, bro. The fact is, you put a fucking SSD and a hard drive into a fucking computer with the same game on each one. The only difference that hard drive or SSD is going to make is how fast the game loads. That is literally it. It does not affect performance. And motherfuckers were sniffing that smelling salt straight out of Sony's asshole if they actually believed that was true. The magical SSD was like one of the biggest fucking jokes I've ever heard personally. But fanboys will believe anything. Just like the advanced Xbox technology team getting Starfield running at 60 frames per second. Anybody with a fucking working set of eyes could have known that game is not going to fucking run at 60. No, Bioshock... Okay, so... Oscar Rodriguez, based off of that... Have you beaten the uh, Burial at Sea DLC? For Bioshock Infinite? I'm guessing you haven't based off of that comment because Bioshock 1 and Bioshock Infinite are in the exact same timeline. Like, Bioshock Infinite, if you play through the DLC, is a direct prequel to Bioshock 1. They're in the exact same universe. Dude, I'm just getting ready to become a UK police officer so I can beat up some people for tweeting out that uh, trans visibility isn't fucking valid, right? Oi. You got a license for that transphobia? Respect trans kids. Affirm trans rights. Stand with Ukraine. Black Lives Matter. Trans visibility is valid. Yeah, I think they said Elder Scrolls 6 isn't expected to release until 2026. It's like, what the fuck, bro? Jesus Christ, man, that sucks. I wish they would have just canceled Starfield and uh, released Elder Scrolls. I don't give a fuck about Starfield compared to Elder Scrolls, personally. Like, if Bethesda would never make another Fallout or any other game aside from Elder Scrolls, I would be happy. I don't give a fuck about Fallout or any of their other games. If, a ne if another Fallout game never fucking released and it meant bumping up the release cycle of Elder Scrolls, I'd be all for it. What's a real thing, man? Well, the only reason they teased it is because people kept asking about it, so they just did it to shut people up. Like, yes, it's it exists. Die, transphobe.
Which COD developer is the best one? Infinity Ward. That's not even a question, man. Infinity Ward has consistently the best Call of Duty games. Don't hate on Fallout? I don't really give a fuck about Fallout, man. Fallout is just a lesser version of Elder Scrolls set in a boring setting. Like, the high fantasy setting is way more entertaining and interesting than post-apocalyptic. Like, I'd rather fight dragons than fucking sewer rats, personally, but hey. To each their own. Dude, now I'm beating women. Let's go, dude. Yeah, I saw MW3 leaked. All it is is going to be basically an update to this game. All of your purchases transfer over and all your multiplayer progress and everything. So it's just a glorified update, which personally I'm fine with because I think this is one of the better Call of Duties to ever release. Like, I have thoroughly enjoyed this game's multiplayer. I think it's been very fun. I don't give a fuck if they charge a hundred bucks for it, dude. I'd pay 300 bucks for the next COD. I mean, there's no other game I play that I put like a thousand hours into every year. Like, it's like a no brainer. I don't give a fuck. Call of Duty could make me pay $60 a month to play this game. I would, cause you know, I like it. Seventy bucks ain't shit for COD, in my opinion. Especially considering how many hours of entertainment you get out of it. Like, I already have almost 900 hours in this game, for example. This game has been out for, what, eight months? And I have 900 hours in it, so, yeah. I'd say I definitely got my money's worth. Treyarch hasn't released a good game since Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 was the last good Treyarch game. They've really shit the bed. Ever since David Vonderhaar got complete and total control of that studio, it's gone downhill. Once David Vondahar stopped being the zombies guy and became the studio head, that's when shit went downhill. Like, he was good at what he did for zombies, he does not know how to fucking make multiplayer. Black Ops 3 with the fucking Destiny super abilities is the, literally the fucking worst thing to happen to COD ever. That shit was fucking horrific. And then Black Ops 4 was supposed to be an Overwatch clone that Activision basically stepped in at the 11th hour and said, what the fuck did you just make? So if anyone thinks that Treyarch makes the best Call of Duties, just imagine them putting out Call of Duty Overwatch edition. And that would have been your Black Ops games from there on out. So no, Treyarch is not even close to being the best dev in Call of Duty. Dude, Black Ops 4 was literally just Black Ops 3 without the fucking double jump and wall run. 
they literally just reskinned like <laughs> Black Ops 3 because they had to make it in like six months because they literally scrapped the entirety of the original design for Black Ops 4 because they made an Overwatch clone and Activision was like, get this fucking shit out of here. Yeah, the manual healing in Black Ops 4 was a massive fucking L. That shit was dumb as hell, man. I hated that. Absolutely fucking hated that. Yeah, the health bars. Because that's because it was a hero shooter originally, man. So you would have needed the health bars. You would have needed the health bars in a fucking Overwatch clone, so they added them. Yeah, well, World War II is the worst Call of Duty. Like, if you want to point to any singular Call of Duty that is the worst in the franchise's history, Call of Duty World War II is that game. That game is absolute fucking dog water. It is the only Call of Duty I never bothered buying or playing. Like, I played that beta and I knew that shit was going to be complete and total ass. Like, I already don't have any high hopes for a World War II shooter in general. Like, I already have zero interest in World War II shooters. But, dude, that game was so fucking bad when I played the beta. Gulf War is apparently, uh, 2024's game. We'll see how that turns out. I'm sure it'll be like some anti-American fucking, you know, super fucking leftist kind of like campaign, but that's to be expected. Yeah, Gulf War is the next uh, Black Ops game. Modern Warfare 3 is the best Call of Duty. And no one can convince me otherwise. It's literally just Modern Warfare 2, but better. Like, I don't really know what what else you'd want from a fucking COD game, personally, but hey. MW3 has a fucking fire campaign. The Spec Ops mode was amazing. The post-launch support was amazing. The mode variety was amazing. Shit ton of weapons. Great maps. Like, what else do you want from a COD game, man? It was really good.
Damn, I didn't get the kill. She. Yeah, Modern Warfare 3 fell victim to the retarded mentality of the COD community that, oh, it's literally the same game every year, man. Call of Duty sucks. It's the same thing. They need to do something different. Then they did something different with Advanced Warfare, and they, the whole fucking community literally shit their fucking pants. They're like, fuck this, dude. Go back to boots on the ground. Classic COD. It's like... Bruh. Holy shit, dude. That's why you should never listen to your fucking community when it comes to a video game. Make the shit that sells. Advanced Warfare is the best fucking advanced movement COD, hands down. I wish we could get another Advanced Warfare. That shit would be fire. I'd be down. Cold War is probably the worst Black Ops game, but I think World War II is way worse than Cold War. Cold War was fun for like a week or two. World War II was never fun. But yeah, people used to have autistic fits whenever, like, Call of Duty tried something new or whatever. It's just fucking obnoxious. After everyone bitched that COD was the same thing every year. Like, I wish it would have stayed the same thing every year. The fucking Black Ops... Or no, not Black Ops. The COD 4 to Black Ops 2, or even Call of Duty Ghost era of Call of Duty was goaded. Like, that entire era of COD where it was literally, like, the same exact formula every single time multiplayer-wise was perfect, in my opinion. With just minor setting changes, I think they should have just kept that. Like, there was no need to fucking mix up the entire formula. Yeah, didn't Cold War launch with like five multiplayer maps or some shit and like three of them were basically unfucking playable because they were so bad? Dude, that Miami map was literally one of the worst Call of Duty maps I've ever fucking seen. Hands down.
No, Vanguard was a better game than Cold War. Vanguard was actually fun. Vanguard was a very fun Call of Duty game. Like, that game prioritized fun over everything else. Like, Blitz mode is literally the best fucking thing to happen to Call of Duty multiplayer ever. That shit was beyond fucking awesome. Blitz mode was so much fucking con- Like, that was just, like, so much fucking fun, bro. I, I don't know. Like, I've never had that much fun with, like, TDM and COD in quite some time. Not to mention the map selection was fucking awesome from day one. They had a bunch of, like, new maps that were actually good. They had classic maps from previous Call of Duty games. You know, they had a really good weapon selection. The weapon customization made your guns feel like they weren't from World War II, which was a huge plus. It was super fast paced, had a nice time to kill. The kill streaks were powerful, other than the stupid fucking spawn protection, but you know. Aside from that, man, like honestly, Vanguard was a very big surprise for me. I thought I was gonna fucking hate it because I thought it was gonna be World War II, too. But it was not. It was completely different. So, I'm glad that Yong Yeah convinced me to buy it because of his fucking Activision bad take. Because originally I wasn't going to buy it. If you guys remember. I had zero intention of buying Vanguard. But then the whole fucking Activision bad controversy came out. And I'm just like, oh, I guess I gotta get COD then. Gotta support my boy Bobby. How come I think Gulf War is going to be woke? Because they're going to paint America as the bad guys in the Gulf War. Duh. It's not hard to figure out. They're going to paint the American military as like this evil, fucking corrupt, vicious, borderline terrorist group hurting the innocents. And like, I already know where it's going to go, man. We live in a society where game developers are from California, so it's only going to go one way. Doesn't really take a genius to figure it out. something woke with no proof how much money you want to bet man i'd bet an easy thousand on that shit being woke as fuck you really think a californian produced video game in 2024 is not gonna have woke undertones in the campaign like are you willing to take that bet Is that really a hill you want to die on, man? That you don't think a fucking California-produced video game in 2024 that involves a, the American military invading a foreign country, you think that's not going to have woke undertones to the campaign? That is not a bet I'd be willing to take. But hey...
kind of shit. Uncle Ruckus with the two. Nothing wrong with a little bit of introspection. What do you mean by that? Uh, the only way I'll stream the, uh... MW3 campaign is if they release it early again. Otherwise, I'm just going straight to multiplayer. I don't give a fuck about that garbage-ass story. The previous two games have been so utterly shit that I don't fucking care about it, like, at all. So unless the campaign comes out, like, a week early again, I ain't playing that shit. Zero desire. this stupid thing. Only level 9, fuck. Why was Vanguard the worst Call of Duty you ever played? Timothy Marco, the two we all thought you loved, the stealth mission. Oh, dude, I absolutely love the campaign for this game. I love throwing fucking <laughs> socks full of nickels to distract guards while I stab them in the neck with a fucking glass shard. You know, that's what I play Call of Duty for. So the person that said that Call of Duty Vanguard was the worst Call of Duty they've ever played has yet to tell me why it's the worst Call of Duty they've ever played. A very common theme if we're going back to discussing why Vanguard is, you know, so bad. This is a good throwback, dude, because I had so many people tell me, dude, Vanguard fucking sucks, and I'd ask why. Nothing. Zero. They'd say, Oh, I don't like it, or oh, it fucking sucks, bro. 
Like, that would be it. It's like, well, why? Why does it suck? And you never get an answer, dude. You never get an actual answer. It's always, I don't like it. Well, why don't you like it? Uh, it sucks, dude. Okay, but why does it suck? Because I can name reasons why I liked it, but it's funny that people can't name reasons why they didn't like it. I mean, when I think of video games I don't like, I can easily point to things I don't like about them. Like, we were just talking about the fucking Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 campaign. The fucking four stealth missions. The stupid fucking crafting mechanics. The, like, general lack of scope. I mean, those are all, like, feasible things I can point to. Yeah, because Blame Truth said so. There you go. But yeah, that's what I mean, bro. It's like, and then they'll come at you with stupid shit like, oh, it doesn't have any content. Well, actually, it launched with the most multiplayer content of any Call of Duty game, but, you know, go off. What's another reason? Oh, there's not enough maps. Well, it launched with the most maps in any Call of Duty game it launched, so, again, <laughs> point out something that's real. There aren't enough guns. You'll point out, oh, there's like 60. Ugh. And it's just like, it, it's dumb, bro. Like, people love to be like, oh, it fucking sucks, bro. But no one can name a reason why. That's all I'm gonna say, bro. That's all I can say. Dude, those armored enemies in fucking MW2 are retarded. Yeah, Modern Warfare and Call of Duty is a game where I don't want to feel like a fucking human super soldier just mowing down hordes of enemies. I want to feel realistic and vulnerable. had the most maps at launch. Vanguard launched with over 20 multiplayer maps. It had the most maps for the multiplayer out of any other Call of Duty game ever at launch. play Vanguard again? Um, okay. I'm good with MW2, man. When I have the choice between a uh, good Infinity Ward COD and a different Call of Duty, I'm always gonna pick Infinity Ward CODs. Infinity Ward is just too fucking goaded with the gameplay feel. Y'all like my e-girl skin? I think it's pretty nice. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about zombies. People can talk about zombies all they want all day. I have no fucking idea what they're talking about unless you're talking about Ascension and Black Ops 1. Like, that is literally the only zombies map I ever played. Aside from, like, the original World at War maps. Like, that's it. Zombies to me is boring as shit. I don't like it. I don't enjoy it. And I don't play it. For years, I tried to enjoy zombies, and I just could never get into it. 
Like, I literally bought all the Black Ops 1 DLCs to try and get into zombies. Like, I tried playing that Call of the um, Dead map. I tried playing Shangri-La, Moon. Uh, what was the other one they added? Well, I guess they added, like, the uh, World of War maps, but... I don't know, dude. Like, Ascension is the only one I ever, like, somewhat liked. And even then, I have zero desire to ever play zombies again. It's just boring. Like, literally, you do the same thing every single time. Wait a certain amount of rounds. Buy a door. Buy a certain gun off the wall. Wait another certain amount of rounds in that room. Buy another door. Go hit the box until you eventually hit the two weapons you're going to keep for the rest of the fucking game. You know, open up the rest of the map, buy the perks you want. Then you're basically just going to get to a spot where you can just fucking run trains with the zombies. And then that's it. You literally do that for the rest of the fucking match. It gets very old very quickly. How is multiplayer repetitive, dude? You're literally playing with different people with different play styles every single fucking time. No two multiplayer games ever unfold the fucking same. In Black Ops Zombies, literally every single fucking round has the same predetermined number of zombies that spawn from the exact same points on the exact same maps over and fucking over again. It is literally fucking scripted from start to finish exactly how many zombies come each round. Nothing changes. The fucking weapons are in the same spot every single time. The perks are in the same spot every single time. The three fucking spots you can run trains on the map are the exact same thing the <laughs> every single fucking time. Like, once you get to round 20 in Zombies, it becomes the most repetitive gameplay loop. You do the exact same thing every single fucking round until you eventually die. You can make the same argument with Battle Royale, but with Battle Royale, you have RNG drops, so it's a little bit less repetitive, but that's the reason I don't like Battle Royale. You drop, search for loot, search for people to fucking shoot at, rinse and repeat. It's boring. Not for me. I like constant, non-stop action with lots of variability, and that is exactly what multiplayer provides, because no two matches are ever going to unfold the exact same. There are best strategies to win zombies in Call of Duty. You cannot apply those same things in multiplayer because there's too much variability. You can't just be like, oh, sit in one corner the entire time with a shotgun and you will literally get 100 kills. What if no one ever walks this way? It's entirely possible. There's no way to actually predict what's going to happen in multiplayer. In zombies, though, you 100% can predict what's going to happen every single round. Lord Pod had Investor with the two. Vanguard had better skins as well. That game had some of the best fucking collabs and microtransactions I have ever seen in a video game, man. That fucking King Kong um, STG or whatever was so fucking goaded. The King Kong versus Godzilla skin was so fucking sick, man. That was like one of the coolest fucking collabs ever. With the fucking Godzilla gun that breathed blue fire, dude. That shit was fucking fire. No pun intended. And then, like, you had the fucking, uh, you know, Godzilla skin. You had the Attack on Titan skins. Like, bro, they had some really cool stuff. And then just, like, the general Call of Duty skins in that game. They had some really cool designs. I don't know, man. I enjoyed Vanguard. I think it was overall a pretty fun game. Yeah, the Snoop Dogg skin was fucking funny, man. King Samuel with the two. The Snoop Dogg skin is my favorite. Yup, that shit's good. Griffin knows nothing about zombies. Yeah, I stopped playing it after Black Ops 1. What part of me saying I don't really know shit about zombies? The only zombies I've ever played is World at War and Black Ops 1. Did that point get lost on you? I don't fucking know. Do you think that's like some sort of gotcha? 
I mean, you can go rewind the, like literally the fucking stream and hear me say, yeah, I don't know shit about zombies, nor do I care about it. play Halo anymore. I mean, I have 2,400 hours on MCC, bro. The only way I'd probably go back to Halo, like, for extended periods is if Halo 5 got ported to PC. That'd be about it. That'd be about probably the only thing that would uh, bring me back into Halo regularly. would be if Halo 5 got ported to PC, because then I would start playing that again. Dude, if video games just stopped releasing in general, I'd be fine. They won't put Halo 5 in the MCC because of how, like, ingrained the fucking, uh, microtransaction shit is into the game. And also, because, you know, they don't want to dedicate the resources towards it, I guess. I don't fucking know. They're kind of working with the skeleton crew over there. I mean, I've gotten to, like, round, like, 100-something on zombies, bro. I was good at zombies, but it's just not fun. I would always look forward to dying so I could finally stop playing it with my friends. Like, I fucking hated it. I tried to like zombies for years because all my friends, like, that's all they ever wanted to play for a while. Like, if you ever went to a sleepover, that's all people wanted to fuck. Oh, dude, let's play split-screen zombies all night. And it's like, fuck me. That's okay. I'll just watch. <laughs> But yeah, dude, I've never liked it. It's just never been fun to me. And the worst thing would be is like your friend had to go take a fucking shit or something and you would have to run around and like try to keep the crawler occupied like holy fuck can we just like stop playing please i don't mind we can just stop man you know go take your shit <laughs> oh dude i fucking hated zombies with a passion this shit was awful I have never tried so hard to genuinely like something related to video games. But, dude, I fucking hate zombies. Dude, I don't like doing easter eggs for the same reason I don't like doing fucking raids in Destiny. I don't like having to collaborate with people while playing a video game. That is not fun to me. Bro, activate the fucking blue light. And then you activate, no, not yet, dude, not yet. It's like, well, too fucking late.
No, it's not that my friends made me hate zombies. It's just there's nothing about it I enjoy. I'm not really a wave-based survival kind of person anyway. Like, even Horde mode and Gears of War I got bored of very quickly. I did it once and I never felt the need to play it again. Nope, I don't like Infection. I like Infection on Modern Warfare 3. That was fun. On Sea Town, that was cool. But aside from that, no. I don't like it in Halo. Dude, Sea Town Infection on Modern Warfare 3 is literally fucking goaded. That shit was really fun. Everybody would camp on that little fucking archway. Good times. Nope, I don't play custom games. Just official matchmaking. I got my gamer girl skin. Let's go, dude. Probably should just use some weapon XP. Forgot I have all these stupid fucking things I'm never gonna use. <laughs> Someone said they hate Apple because the majority likes them. Yeah, that sounds about right. I like Apple because they actually seem to care about your privacy, which is nice. Like, Google is definitely worse than Apple when it comes to fucking over their customers' privacy, so... If I had to pick the lesser of two evils, it's definitely Apple. Google's mantra is literally everything about you is for sale, so... Just for that alone, I respect Apple for that. And they also give you the features to block, like, third-party apps from basically spying on you. One of the two, give me a Resistance Series Remastered for PS5. That'd be kind of cool. They need to upgrade the gameplay, though. Those games are kind of clunky. Also, the fucking non-regenerative health, that needs to go. I like and dislike Apple. If you forget your Apple ID and bought music on their store, you're screwed. Like, you forget which email you used? You can just reset your password, man. That's not that hard. I've reset my password like three times since I've gotten my iPhone. Not hard. Just like if you forget your password for your fucking Google account, just reset it.
I mean, that's like saying you hate Steam because you can forget your password. <laughs> like, that kind of applies for everything. Yeah, I think the time to kill in this game is good. If it was a little faster, I wouldn't complain. Oh, fuck, dude. I did not hold it down. I wish you could just turn off executions. This shit's so fucking annoying. I always do it on accident. The faster the time, or the faster the time to kill, the more fast paced the game is. So personally, I prefer a uh, faster time to kill. Another reason why I don't like Treyarch multiplayer as much. I don't like some dipshit being able to turn on you. I like to be able to put like three to four shots into somebody and then move on. Like it just allows you to flow a lot better in multiplayer too because you don't have to think about, oh, did I shoot him enough? You just like shoot at him for like half a second and then you're good. Move on to the next guy. Ah, shit. Maybe I should implement that rule where if you don't have a membership, you don't get to be a mod. That seems fair. Joe Biden said we ended cancer as we know it. Oh my God, how amazing. When did that happen? Thanks, Joe. Little did we know he cured cancer and just didn't tell anybody. One more level. Then I can start earning camos for this thing. Oski Woski with the five gifted memberships. Really either, appreciate either, it, man. Subscribe, Big donate, ups. Thanks so much. Out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. And God Emperor either, Sofa either, either King with the tier one. Really appreciate it, man. Get the fuck out. Big ups. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. 
either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, oh either shit! You get the ten before that out. as well. What the fuck? Either, Damn, either, man! Either really appreciate it. Get the fuck I was out. like, why is that thing still going off? But either, shit, either, either dude. Either subscribe, donate, Damn. or get the fuck Thanks out. Thanks so much. Oh sh dude, what the fuck? Oski Oski with another five? Jesus, man. Thanks, bro. Really appreciate that. Either, either either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck I out. I was wondering when that was gonna queue. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Would I say COD MW2s were thirty bucks? Uh, definitely. FBI with the gifted membership. Really appreciate it, man. Big ups, bro. Britt's gonna go have to ask mommy for the visa. FBI with another gifted membership. Big ups, bro. Really appreciate it. It's going to everyone but Brit. Everyone wants to be uh, Brit's new uh, sugar daddy. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Dude, what the either, fuck, either, man? Either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Oski Waski with another either, either, five? Either Dude, what donate, the hell, man? The fuck out. Big ups, bro. Thanks either, so much. Either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either either, either Damn, subscribe, dude. donate, or get the fuck out. And either, FBI either, either was a gift subscribe, donate, shit, or get the fuck out. What the fuck? Thanks so much, either, guys. Either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Kazumi's been in here a bunch recently. I recognize the name. FBI with the gifted membership. Damn, bro. Big ups, dude. And I'm key with the gifted membership. Uh-oh. I'm Key's coming in trying to uh, sweep his girl. Dare I say it, hateful cunt! <laughs> FBI with another gifted membership? Uh oh. And JBT with the five gifted memberships. Oh shit. Everyone but Brit. 
Let's go. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. <laughs> Oski Woski with the two, everyone trying to be Brit's sugar daddy. Big L. Either, I know, either, dude. either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Guys, obviously, just send either, either, either subscribe, PayPal. donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. An FBI with another gifted either, either, membership. Either subscribe, uh -oh. donate, or get the fuck out. Yawn, yeah, with the gifted membership. Still no Brit. Let's either, go, either, dude. Either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. FBI with another gifted membership. <laughs> either, either, either subscribe, donate, <laughs> Shit, or get dude. the fuck out. Literally everyone but Brit. Literally everyone but Brit. You love to see it. Uh oh, shit, FBI with another? Damn, man. And it didn't go to Brit. <laughs> Mama Luigi with the two, have you played Killer Instinct? Yes, I actually like Killer Instinct because you had the auto combo mode. Yeah, no, Killer Instinct was really good on the Xbox One. I actually did enjoy that. I'm key with the gifted membership, and then FBI with another gifted membership. Still no bread. What a shame. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Uh, sorry guys, I can't put a hat or a vest on unless we hit the tips goal. The membership goal is entirely separate. Same with super chats. Only tips. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. All either, contributions either, either subscribe, were not made donate, equal. Or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Timothy Marco with a gifted membership? No Brit. Either, JBT either, either with a gifted membership? Subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. No Brit. Oski with a gifted membership? Donate, or get the no fuck Brit. out. No Brit. And FBI with another <laughs> gifted membership? No Brit. Unfortunate. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. FBI with another gifted membership, still no Brit. And JBT with another <laughs> gifted membership, no Brit. Damn, man. Brit. Did you, like, cut off the CEO of YouTube from the free OnlyFans or some shit? Like, what the hell? Damn. The monthly foot pick was not sent. FBI with <laughs> gifted membership? Still no Brit. And Groovy with the gifted membership? Again, no Brit. Bruh. They really don't want to see you winning, Brett. Damn. FBI with another gifted membership. Oh my god, dude. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. No, Brit. Brit, who did you piss off over at YouTube HQ? Obviously, they're not uh, Steelers fans. Taggerman with the five gifted memberships. Oh, let's see what happens here. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Come on, no, Brit, no, Brit, no, either, Brit, either, no, either Brit, no, Brit, no, Brit. Either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. No, Brit, let's go, Either, dude. either, either subscribe, donate, Gaming. or get the fuck out. <laughs> 
Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. <laughs> either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. JBT with the five gifted memberships. Uh-oh. Will the streak continue? Oh, it continues. Let's fucking go, dude. Whoa! Welcome to the real world! Let's go, dude. Ruby with the gifted membership. Uh-oh. Oh, we're good. Still safe. It's still safe, man. King Samuel with the gifted membership? Uh-oh. Nope, we're still good. Beastly Feeds with either, the gifted either, either membership. Either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck still out. Still good. Either, either, either subscribe, and FBI donate, or with another get the fuck gifted out. membership. Still either, either, fucking either safe. Either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Damn, man, this is wild. Either, either, either subscribe, donate. Or I would have thought it would have happened by now. Like shit, dude. This is crazy. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. FBI with another gifted membership and JBT either, either, with another gifted membership. Either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, Still or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Still nothing, man. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. FBI with a gifted either, membership. Either, either subscribe, uh -oh. donate, nope, or get still the fuck nothing. out. Damn, man. This is wild, dude. Holy fuck, dude. What the fuck? Ruby with the gifted members. <laughs> nope, still no Brit. Holy fuck, man. I'm like, I'm actually shocked Brit has not gotten one yet. That is wild. Oski Woski with the five. <laughs> Yo. FBI with another. Triggers with another. Damn, man. Y'all are going crazy. But Brit's probably going even more crazy right now. <laughs> she still hasn't gotten one. Unfortunate. Unfortunate, man. Beastly feeds with the two. Swear to God, Brit has gifts turned. I know. Like, there's got to be something, man. YouTube, like, marked uh, Brit's account or some shit like that to never get anything free again. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, this is or crazy. get the fuck out. <laughs> either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the FBI fuck out. FBI with the five gifted members. Either, either, either subscribe, Still donate, or get no the fuck bread. out. Damn, either, man. either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. This is fucking crazy. Either, <laughs> either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Yo, I'm not even like either, we either, literally either subscribe, have donate, 84 or get the fuck out. memberships gifted. Either, in either, the past either subscribe, months, donate, or get the fuck one. out. Jesus Christ, dude. And tarnished with the tier one either, membership. Either, Appreciate either subscribe, it, man. donate, or get the fuck out. Uh oh. Either, tarnished either, either with the five donate, gifted memberships. The fuck out. Let's see. Can it continue? Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Bro, either, still either, either subscribe, no bread. Donate, or get Holy the fuck, out. fuck, man. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, JBT or get the fuck out. JBT with the gifted membership. Either, still either, either no bread. Subscribe, Brett. donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the oh fuck out. Oh my god, man. This is wild. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Pothead Investor with the five gifted memberships and still no brand. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Bruh. Holy fuck, dude. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. FBI with the either, five Either, either subscribe, members. donate, or get the fuck out. Dude, what either, the either, either subscribe, fuck? donate, or get the no fuck out. No bread. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. 
Either, either, either subscribe, shit, donate, dude. or get the fuck out. How? Like, this is almost like statistically impossible. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. <laughs> either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, Oski or get the fuck out. The five, and still no bread, dude. Holy either, shit. Either, either nice. subscribe, donate, or get the fuck Damn. out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, Holy or get the shit, fuck out. Dude. Pawn an investor either, with either, a either 10? Either, either subscribe, donate, Bro. or get the fuck out. Dude, if Brett doesn't either, get one either, now, either I'm like, gonna subscribe, donate, shook. or get the fuck out. I'm like, <laughs> dude, there's no fucking way. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get there the fuck out. There is no fucking way, dude. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, Doom or get the fuck the out. Membership. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get JBT the fuck out. with the gifted membership. FBI either, either, either with subscribe, dude, donate, or get the fuck, fuck out. Bruh. Dude, still either, either, either no subscribe, donate, bread. or get the fuck out. I'm like, either, this either, is either insane. Subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. This is like fucking crazy. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck Triggers out. Triggers with a gifted membership. Big either, ups, either, man. Either subscribe, donate, or and get the Laura fuck Pond out. And investor with the 20, bro? Jesus Christ, dude. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, Holy or get the fuck, fuck. out. <laughs> Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get Dude, the fuck if out. Dude, doesn't get one off of this, I'm either, like, either, either I'm subscribe, done. donate, or get the fuck out. All right, let's see. I'm watching very close. I either, don't think either, I can get subscribe, donate, on my own channel, which is really out. dumb. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Yeah, let's see, dude. Either, I'm like either, actually either subscribe, watching. Subscribe, donate, now. or get the fuck out. If Brit doesn't get one, I'm like. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Oh my god, dude. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. No bread, either, either, dude. Either, subscribe, donate, Holy or get the fuck out. Holy shit. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, there, or get the fuck this out. This is insane, man. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get Brit, the fuck out. you gotta out. hop in a Discord call and person either, either, say either thank subscribe, you to whoever ends up giving you one. Out. Like, holy shit. Either, either, either if subscribe, you donate, one, or get the fuck YouTube out. YouTube has, like, some sort of fucking either, either, black either mark subscribe, on Either, subscribe, donate, account. or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get <laughs> the fuck out. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, either, 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 either subscribe, donate, membership. or get the fuck Jesus out. Jesus Christ, man. Thank you. And Bakayama with either, five either, either gifted subscribe, <laughs> donate, or get the fuck still out. Still no bread, man. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get Holy the fuck out. Shit. Yeah, believe in the heart either, of the credit either, cards. Either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. He can borrow with the either, gifted either, membership. Either subscribe, donate, Appreciate or get the fuck it. out. Beastly feeds with another gifted membership. Either, either, Big either ups, subscribe, bro. donate, or get the fuck out. FBI with another gifted membership. Big ups, either, bro. Either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Oski Waski with the either 10, bro, donate, holy shit, dude. Either, either, fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, <laughs> donate, or get the fuck out. Damn, either, man. Either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Dude, there's no either, way. Either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. This is fucking crazy. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Shane with the gifted either, membership. Either, either, either subscribe, else, donate, Appreciate or get it. the fuck out. Holy either, either, shit, either subscribe, man. donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Oh my. God, bro, that either, is either, either wild. subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, no either subscribe, donate, bread. or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. <laughs> either, either, either subscribe, donate, fuck, or get the man. fuck out. 
This is crazy. Either, either, Thank either you all so much, donate, though. Or get the fuck out. For real, though. Big ups. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get That's the insane, fuck out. insane, dude. Either 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 subscribe, Nick donate, Batista or get the, with the fuck five. out. I'm just sitting here. How many controllers? Either, either, either subscribe, Wings donate, at. or get the fuck out. Wait, I'm just sitting here. How many controllers Wings has? Not either, enough either, to give Either subscribe, uh, donate, membership, or get apparently. the fuck out. This is fucking crazy. And FBI with the gifted membership. Still no Brit. I'm key with the gifted membership. Let's see who this one goes to. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Still no Brit. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. <laughs> Oh my god. Either either, either dude. subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Bro, holy either either, either dude. subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Jesus Christ, man. Either either, either subscribe, 50 donate, gifted or membership. get the fuck out. Jesus dude, that's either, way either, too either subscribe, much. subscribe, donate, what the or fuck? get the fuck out. Lord Pothead Investor, either, either, either man. Subscribe, holy donate, shit. Thank you, man. That is insane. Either 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 subscribe, that is donate, or get crazy. the fuck out. <laughs> There's either, either, no way, bro. Subscribe, Brett doesn't donate, get one now. or get the fuck out. There's no way. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Brit has to get it now, either, dude. Either, Holy either subscribe, shit. Subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Oh my god, dude, I still haven't seen Brit's name. That is wild. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck oh out. Oh my god, dude. This either, is either, either crazy. Either either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. This is wild. Either man. either either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or Dude, get the fuck out. Dude, thank you so much, though. Either, 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 either That's subscribe, donate, generous. or get the fuck Jesus, out. Jesus, man. Either, either, either Hopefully you did that at the $2 the tier, out. right? I don't know either, how much either, they either charge you for gifted donate, memberships, but hopefully out. that was at the $2 tier, either, man. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. That either, was either, 250. Either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Dude, that's insane. Either, either, what either the fuck, man? Subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Bro, that's crazy. Either, either, Thank either subscribe, you, man. Subscribe, donate, or get the fuck, fuck out. I didn't know they charged you the like tier either, either, two either price. Subscribe, donate, what the fuck? Or get the fuck out. Either, Damn, either, either, man. Subscribe, donate, or get the fuck Holy out. Holy shit. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Dude, that's either, insane. Either, either Thank subscribe, you. Donate, well, Thank you to everybody, like honestly. Jesus, either, either either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. JBT either, with the either, gift either of membership. Either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Ah, uh, yeah, still no Brit. Either 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 subscribe, donate, Dude, or get the fuck out. Dude, this is crazy. Either, we either, now either have more donate, gifted memberships than people in the chat. Oh, actually, either, no. either, either we have subscribe, more donate, now. or get the fuck out. Well, either, when either, this started, we have donate, more gifted memberships than people were in the chat. <laughs> Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. I'm key with the gifted membership. Either either, either subscribe, no donate, bread. or get the fuck out. And Groovy either, either, either with subscribe, the gifted membership. Get the fuck Big out, man. FBI with either, the gifted either, either membership. Either subscribe, donate, Still or get the fuck out. No bread. Either either and either subscribe, with donate, the five. or get the fuck out. You think out. DSP will be punching air, either, seeing either, all these either memberships? Either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. <laughs> Dude, he'd probably either, bitch either, and complain that they weren't tips because the he could out. use that money now to pay his bills. Either either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. <laughs> Unironically, he would either, still either, find either, a way to complain about it. Subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. He'd be like, well, dude, I either, wish you would have split that between donate, tips and memberships, because I can use the tips now. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. It's like when he got the $1,000 in super chats donate, and bitched that it wasn't the a tip. Out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either huh. subscribe, My donate, life. or get the fuck out. With the out. tier one membership, big ups. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get and the fuck Lord out. And more pothead investor with the five gift. Either, either, either subscribe, Bro, donate, that is or insane. get the fuck Thank out. you, man. Either 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 subscribe, Do donate, have, or get the Brit, fuck out. Wait, no, Brett still hasn't gone. Either either either, either subscribe, the donate, right or get the fuck out. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the I'm fuck out. I'm key with the gifted membership. Either Big either else, either man. subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. 
Either, either, either subscribe, and donate, Brit or get the fuck out. bought a membership herself. Either, either, oh. either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Brit got tired of getting fucked Either, either, either subscribe, the donate, orange. or get the fuck out. Either, either, either Bruh. subscribe, donate, <laughs> or get the fuck out. Brit finally either, either, caved. Either subscribe, donate, Damn. or get the fuck out. Dude, that is crazy, honestly. That is fucking either, wild. Either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. And Rickenzie with the two, I need to do either, either, either steal subscribe, your donate, <laughs> Dude, or get this is, the fuck yeah, this out. is fucking crazy, bro. I don't even know what to say. This is fucking wild. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. I am shook right now, bro. Either, either, Thank either you subscribe, all so much. donate, or get the fuck out. And Brett with the two, either, either, shout either out subscribe, to my dad. Donate, That's or right. Get the fuck out. Shout out to daddy's credit card. Nobody comes in more clutch. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. 92 Vixter with the tier one membership. Either, really either, either it, subscribe, man. donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. And E Yiga, hopefully I said that right, with the tier one membership. Appreciate either, it, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Dude, we basically have either, as either, many either new members as we do viewers right now. Out. This is fucking insane. Jesus, man. Holy either, fuck, either, either subscribe, dude. donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. One more time for posterity. Either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Holy shit, man. Thank you all so much for that. Jesus, bro. That's like fucking inc <laughs> That's crazy, dude. That was like 20 straight minutes of wings, man. Yeah, I can finally pay my taxes now, guys. AKA spinning WWE. Both of my accounts got gifted, but at Brit had to pay for it herself. Thank you, FBI and JVT, for the gifted memberships. Dude, this is fucking crazy. Holy crap, bro. I can now pay for my condo? That's right. And my wife with the 50s. Small amount for the WWE. Gotcha. Big ups. Thanks to my wife for supporting my uh, WWE. Habit. Holy, dude, that is crazy that Brett didn't get that. Like, I'm actually shocked. That is crazy, dude. Do I stand with Ukraine? Of course, man. Respect trans kids, affirm trans rights, stand with Ukraine, Black Lives Matter, Trans visibility is valid. <laughs> yeah, that is like fucking insane, man. Thank you all again so much for that. Like shit. I didn't realize it was charging you five bucks a piece either. That's crazy. I thought it was like two bucks, which still is crazy, but like damn. Lord Pothead Investor with the five, you should clip the last 20 minutes for a video to dis DSP. Yeah, what I can try to do is after the stream ends, I'll just leave it like unlisted or whatever. 
and then I can like try to record it and then I'll upload it to my second channel and just call it positivity. Maybe I can do that. What is the uh, time in? So an hour and 45 minutes is where I want to start. I'm guessing the archive channel isn't uh isn't working anymore or what? Because everybody always keeps asking me about that. What is the uh, status of that? Do they not like uh, record anymore? So yeah, what I can try to do is I'll uh, just open up the stream, let it play, and then capture it with OBS, and then either 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 subscribe, donate, just like or get name the, fuck the out. clip positivity or something, and then stick that up on uh, my second channel. Extra sends with a tier three membership. Really appreciate it, man. Big ups. Yeah, I know. Um, British potatoes uh, thing got struck because of like some old fucking Gordon Flowers videos. But I don't know about the other one. And Green Eye Gaming with the three months. Can we watch Entitled Girl Won't Pay for Date by Darman? Uh, we can probably check it out. I think we should have time. We're going to do uh, the Synthetic Man video tonight. Um, what else? Armored Core. We can look at the low tier God versus DSP stuff. So yeah, we should be fine. Should be good. And I'm key with the five. Big ups, everyone. Now I'm poor, by the way. Can we watch this? Tempted to say no, but yeah, we can check it out, man. The first arc of Bleach was fun. All right, got that pulled up. Let me get this other one, too, so I don't forget. Entitled. I can't afford this shit. dead we may be doing videos now cod machine may be broke yep looks like it's dead so we'll just go ahead and do videos gaming Yeah, that's the thing, bro. COD couldn't handle all that positivity. Shane with the one. Uh oh. That's not very positive. You're broke! You're fucking poor! Alright, dude. So let's do the recommended stuff first. So the first recommended was. I guess, yeah, the Synthetic Man video, which I was gonna watch anyway. So. That knocks two things off the list. Okay. 
Well, that was by no exaggeration one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. Now, I'm sure the question on many of your minds is, why would I watch the Barbie movie? Something that would clearly be intended for little girls, or at least you would think so. In reality, it's for women over 30 who hate men. Well, pretty much. Whether it's the single mothers, the wine ants, and the land whales who constantly wonder why they can't lose any weight while drinking a 1500 calorie Starbucks Frappuccino every morning. So yeah, you already know exactly what kind of video this is going in. Some of you, I'm sure, are very excited. And I'm going to try and contain my extreme rage towards this movie. I mean, truly, this is simultaneously one of the most infuriating and unintentionally hilarious movies what I've ever fuck? seen. And to answer the question at the beginning, the only reason I watched this is because it has Ryan Gosling, literally me, in it. I've loved almost all of his roles, and so I thought maybe, at least for the memes, this would be ironically entertaining. Well, no, it turns out he's the character who gets shit on the most throughout the entire movie. He's... Well, duh, dude, he's the fucking guy in the girl power movie. A punching bag, he represents the emasculated simp beta male. And it is truly sad to see what some people will do for money. You couldn't pay me any amount to debase myself <laughs> as thoroughly as this film does to our boy. And for those of you who constantly give this channel the very midwit take of why do you financially support products that you hate? Even though I'm a reviewer, I kind of have to play the thing to review it. And because every game has Dunovo now, you can't exactly pirate it day one. You gotta wait for somebody to hopefully crack it. But considering most of the time I tell people not to buy the game, you would think I'd be resulting in a net loss of sales. So how does that make me a hypocrite exactly? But to Yes and no. I mean, I can see from both perspectives. Yeah, if you tell people not to buy something, it may cause them to make less money but at the same time you're still financially supporting something that you claim is like harmful so i can see both fucking uh, sides from that but at least movies you don't have to buy bring this back around to barbie you know something i absolutely do not have to purchase to see movies so don't worry i did not give any money to mattel in the creation of this review all right without further ado let's get into the review of the barbie movie I'm just going to do another plot synopsis slash commentary sort of thing because really a video like this doesn't deserve any more effort than that. I want to talk about this and move on with my life. It truly was a colossal waste of my time, as is the case with many things I talk about on this channel. The movie begins in the before times where little girls had to play with really shitty porcelain dolls. And all of a sudden, a giant Margot Robbie shows up and shows the world what a great what feminist fuck? doll looks like. And the girls destroy all their shitty old toys. And somehow this <laughs> results in the Barbie world achieving true equality and defeating the patriarchy. And this is all a lie. In reality, the Barbie world is a straight-up matriarchy, no joke, where the Barbies do everything in society, even the things that any normal person knows a woman would never want to do, like being a garbage man or a construction worker, so on and so forth. The Barbies do literally everything, which is obviously a play on the fact that in like the past 20 to 30 years, Barbie dolls doing all sorts of jobs were released to the world to show that women can do literally anything they set their mind to, which I'm sure most of us thought was a great message once upon a time. Well, let's take a moment to ask the passengers of the Titan submarine what they thought. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Jokes aside, I'm not going to get into a very autistic realism angle with the Barbie world. It's obvious that this is not meant to be taken all that seriously. There's a lot of jokes in this movie. None uh. of them are funny, but at the very least, the movie is aware that this is not exactly a serious premise. The problem is there's so much not so subtle propaganda shoved into the movie that I really don't think it being cartoonish is an excuse. This is clearly not made for children, despite what you might think. So anyway, yeah, I mean, 
I don't even think kids really give a fuck about Barbies anymore. This is definitely more marketed towards like the middle aged women that grew up with this shit back in like the fucking nineties. 100% or like early two thousands kids. Definitely not kids are the fucking uh, demographic for this shit. It's like grown women. During this sequence where we're showing all the different Barbie jobs, we see the Barbie version of Congress. Yeah, they have that for some reason. And we see a fat Barbie make a parody tear statement. This makes me emotional and I'm expressing it. I have no difficulty holding both logic and feeling at the same time. And it does not diminish my powers. It expands them. If this was a different movie, I would swear that was a joke. Oh yeah, and the president <laughs> is a black Barbie, of course. Again, the subversion is not exactly Big Mike. Exactly subtle. After this, we see how Margot Robbie Barbie's life is perfect, and she's perfect. She's supposed to represent the original Barbie, the one that is basically just a blonde bimbo with no personality, right? And this is a problem because she's horrible for women's beauty standards. How dare you want to be attractive? You should love That's me right. for being fat, ugly, and disgusting and unlikable because I was born with a vagina. So anyway, Barbie goes down to the beach and we see our boy Ryan Gosling is Ken looking like a Chad and his main conflict <laughs> in this movie is he's jealous of Asian Ken because Barbie gives both of them attention. And the entire concept of the Ken dolls in this society is that they do absolutely nothing. I'm serious, they don't do anything. Yeah, they just exist for eye candy. But for some reason, the Barbies all friend zone the Kens. They can never be together. And out of curiosity, I googled when the first Barbie dolls came out, and apparently it was in 1959. You're telling me back then they designed Barbie and Ken dolls who lived together in the same house to not be romantically interested in one another? No, this is more feminist bullshit, obviously. Also, Michael Sarah is a minor character in this movie. He is Alan, the only Alan left. I guess he's supposed to represent discontinued or forgotten products. And honestly, I have no idea why he's even in this movie. I guess Greta Gerwig needed an ugly Ken doll, somebody for all the women in the audience to view as a loser because you could cut him out of the movie and lose nothing of value. Anyway, Ken wants to impress Barbie and upstage the Asian Ken, so he tries to go surfing and fails miserably, injuring himself. What the fuck? And then we get a gratuitous gay joke. Wants to be Charlie. Anyone who wants to beat him off has to beat me off first. I will beat both of you off at the same time. But you don't even know how to beat yourself off. How are you going to beat yourself off? Ken? Why are you going to beat yourself off? Nobody's going to beat you anyone off. Then we have the Barbie ambulance playset, which turns into a doctor's room. And what guess what? Fuck? Dr. Barbie is a man. Yeah, I'm sure you heard about this before the film came out, but there is a trans woman Barbie and this brave person Gaming. is not even trying to sign another woman. And given the fact that the dolls have no genitalia, which they confirm in the film, if you're curious, what is even the point of having a trans woman Barbie in the first place? Maybe the secret lore is that one of the Ken dolls got tired of being useless <laughs> and so transitioned so he could get a real job. But that would actually be funny, and as you're going to see, this movie is anything but that. And during this scene, Ken has an existential crisis as he realizes that Kens do nothing. They have no jobs, they serve no purpose. Then we fast forward to Barbie having one of her huge parties that apparently she has all the time, and out of nowhere she says, And of course, straight out of a meme, the party stops. And we discover that Barbie has started malfunctioning. She's getting depressed and anxious. And for some reason, she doesn't walk on her tippy toes anymore. She's walking uh -oh. on flat feet. And we get an obvious foot fetish scene <laughs> straight out of a Tarantino film. I get the feeling. Or a what was that dude from Nickelodeon that was obsessed with all the kids' feet on the shows? Um, What was that guy's name? Yeah, Dan Schneider, that guy. 
Dude, it's like a fucking Dan Schneider uh, directed scene right there. This is something the executive... Oh, I saw that with the 10. Heard you in stream earlier about Killer Instinct Auto Combat. The new Mortal Kombat will have that too, along with the Homelander DLC Instant Buy. Also won my first DUI case. Next one is in September. Well, good luck, man. Hopefully it goes the same, but glad to hear that one worked out. Big ups. Producers wanted to see, unless maybe Greta's into that kind of shit. I don't know. And something I noticed during this scene is that the trans Barbie is dressed as a sailor. You can't make this shit up, <laughs> dude. This is straight out of Family Guy. <laughs> Are you gay, Dad? Oh, Glenn, I'm not gay. Just, just tell me the truth. <laughs> Son, you have my word. I am not gay. All right. I believe you. But I am a woman trapped in a man's body. And while I'm in Quahog, I plan to have a sex change operation. <laughs> oh, come. Dude, one of the few good episodes of Family Guy is when Quagmire loses his fucking penis and then he gets his dad's fucking penis, <laughs> which makes no fucking sense. Because if his dad actually did transition, his dad's penis would be inside of himself, not in a fucking freezer. But, you know, you know what they say. Gaming. I Siler with the five for Brother Jethro. I might have a copyright video later, but it's super short. Yeah, that's fine, man. No worries. Let me uh, go ahead and click the link so I have it pulled up. Oh, God. I already know. Shadow Evil with the five. Thanks, man. Thanks for that positivity. Come on, just be gay. So, because Barbie is malfunctioning, she needs to meet the weird Barbie. And this is where the film reveals that how girls play with the dolls actually affects them in the Barbie world. Now, you could probably think of several ways how this would create problems for this film. Namely, that it assumes that 99.9% .9 of women play with their dolls completely normally, which you would think would be they conforming don't. to gender roles, which would defeat the entire purpose of this movie. Because as far as we know, there's only two malfunctioning Barbie dolls in Barbie Land, and if this is supposed to represent every single Barbie doll in the world... That means most women are acting like women. And look, I feel like I'm just wasting my breath at this point because we already know that leftists are purely performative. It's not gonna actually change anything to point it out, but I'm gonna keep pointing it out because I love to do it. But anyway, enough tangents. The woman is played by one of the unfunny comedians from the Ghostbusters 2016 movie. I don't remember her name and I don't care. Exactly. But from her, Barbie learns she needs- I've seen that woman before and I know exactly what he means. She's painfully unfunny in everything she's in. I don't fucking remember her name, but I think she's from like SNL, right? To travel into the real world. Yes, it's one of those movies, and so in a very goofy fashion, she travels to the real world, but Ken snuck into the back of her car, and she... Bro, is he playing Pokemon XD fucking music in the background? Damn. That's nostalgic as fuck. Just fucking hates this dude and shits on him again for no reason. And when they travel to the real world, they end up in Los Angeles. And we get possibly the most stereotypical scene you could possibly imagine. A feminist writing into a film. Barbie gets creeped out by the male gaze and some construction workers catcall her. Oh my god. And of course they have to take it too far. And they have some dude slap her ass and she punches him out. And then they get arrested. What fucking alternate universe is this in L.A.? Yeah, exactly. A woman gets arrested for punching a guy. Are you fucking kidding me? Do they really expect us to believe this? Anyway, after they're let go and change clothes, Ken leaves Barbie and discovers on his own that the world is a patriarchy. Or at least that's what they're trying to show here. But as I watch the scene again... I have no fucking clue how what we're seeing on screen is supposed to tell us that men dominate the world and oppress women. 
I mean, basically what they show us on screen is that men are capable and work hard to achieve money, status, and power, and are actually good friends with one another. But I guess Greta Gerwig wants us to think this is a patriarchy somehow? I'm actually blown away how little sense this scene. The implications seem to be that men dominate culture, at the very least, which is laughably false in current years. In makes. Meanwhile, back with Barbie, she forms some kind of psychic link to her owner and sees that she is la sad, and Barbie <laughs> is blown away as sadness exists in the real world because she's never experienced it before. Oh, boo-hoo. And then we find out that apparently the FBI knows that the Barbie world exists <laughs> because this has actually happened before a long time ago. So some low level dude at Mattel has to travel to the HQ and we meet the head secretary who has drawn all these weirdly depressing Barbies which is foreshadowing, as you might imagine. And we see that the CEO of Mattel is Will Ferrell, and we get a... Oh, God. That's how you know the movie's going to be bad. Will Ferrell is all I need to know that I will absolutely fucking hate that movie. If I see Seth Rogen, Will Ferrell, or who's the other guy? Fuck, I can't remember. But immediately I already know I'm not going to fucking like that movie. Uh, Shadow Evil with the two Last of Us Part 2 glitches. Alright, we can check it out. Horrendously unfunny scene. And so now Mattel is on the hunt to put Barbie back in her box. And we cut back to Barbie and Ken, and Barbie is seeking out her owner, some Latina teenage girl who is an absolute insufferable c I mean, seriously, if they were trying to go for the rebellious, woke teenage girl, well, I guess they succeeded. She's a stereotypical militant feminist who hates capitalism, beauty standards, and of course, anyone who disagrees with her. You've been making women feel bad about themselves since you were invented. You represent everything wrong with our culture. Sexualized capitalism, unrealistic social ideas. <laughs> no, no, no. I am technically stereotypical Barbie. You set the feminist movement back 50 years. You destroyed girls' innate sense of worth, and you are killing the planet with your glorification of rampant consumerism. No, I'm supposed to help you and make you happy and Bruh. powerful. Oh, no child speaks that way. I'm powerful. And until you showed up here and declared yourself Barbie, I hadn't thought about you in years, you fascist. What a great role model for children. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ken tries to get a job, but has no qualifications. This should disprove the existence of the patriarchy that this movie claims, that men are just given things for existing with a penis, but this would require Gerwig to have self-awareness. In fact, there's a very stereotypical scene where there's a female doctor and Ken asks to see the doctor and it's like, oh wow, what a twist, the woman is the doctor. But if we truly lived in a patriarchal society, why would we allow women to hold any important jobs at all? If the patriarchy exists, why do we give women rights? You need to answer that question if you're one of those stupid Twitter people watching this video. Seriously, if the patriarchy exists, if we hate women and we want to dominate them and oppress them, why do you have rights at all? Anyway, the feds show up and arrest Barbie and take her to Mattel, and we find out that the head secretary is the teenage girl's mom. And during the scene where they're trying to convince Barbie to go back in her box, she points out that only men are leading this company that makes toys for girls. And what do you know, I did a very quick Google search and it turns out that was a fucking lie. Gee, did they think nobody knew how to use a fucking search engine? So anyway, Barbie <laughs> asks to go to the bathroom, and she uses this opportunity to slip away, and she hides and finds an old woman, Ruth. And you can probably predict who this woman is, but either way, she helps Barbie escape, and then Latina Mom rescues Barbie, they get in a chase scene, and we learn that the reason that Barbie was having all of these suicidal thoughts and was malfunctioning was because of the mother. The mother was the one playing with the Barbie dolls to remind herself of her childhood and when her daughter was a little girl. But because she's sad about her life, I guess because she's a secretary, they don't even really explain why she's depressed, by the way, at least not adequately. 
these thoughts were imprinted on her Barbie doll, which is, you know, what created the conflict in this movie. And they joke about her driving skills by saying the mother slept with a bad boy Chad before the girl's <laughs> mother. And on top of this, they even subtly explain why the woman's daughter is such a bitch by showing that the father is a stereotypical beta male goofball. Dude, you can't make this shit up. Not only did the mother sleep with a dangerous bad boy Chad in the past, but she married the beta buck's husband when she got older. It is literally the stereotype that fucking red pill pickup artists and incels talk about. The women are admitting it's real. See what I mean when I said this isn't actually a movie for little girls? I mean, sure, <laughs> Hollywood and the elites want every young girl to see this and be influenced by it so they can completely ruin another generation of women and make them hate men for straight-up retarded reasons that are factually incorrect. So yeah, on the incredibly slight chance that there's any parents watching this video, please, for the love of God, do not take your daughter to see this movie. The funny thing is, is despite just escaping the feds who wanted to take Barbie back to the Barbie world, our main characters decide that they're gonna go to the Barbie world anyway, and then we're Bruh. given even more delusional either, either, either subscribe, from donate, the director or get the fuck out. Barbie explains to either, these either, two either women subscribe, donate, that the, the Barbie out. land is the opposite either, of the either, real either world, subscribe, where donate, women run or get the everything, fuck out. except that's either 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 subscribe false. donate or get the fuck out in Barbie land either the either, either subscribe no donate jobs, or get the they fuck do out nothing and the Barbie dolls do everything and the Ken dolls don't even get to be house husbands how the fuck can you write something so obviously stupid and incorrect and not feel embarrassed the Kens get nothing not even a crumb of pussy there would be mass suicides if the Barbie world was anything like the real world and look, like I said, <laughs> I'm not arguing this on the base of realism. I know the Barbie world isn't realistic. I just don't think the filmmakers do. Greta wants this to be an allegory, but it clearly does not apply to fucking eunuch dolls. Anyway, this video's never gonna end if I don't move on with the plot. Barbie and friends show up back at her dream house and dun dun dun, Ken showed up first and he's turned it into his own boys club. And this is horrible. <laughs> and as Will Ferrell explains in a different scene, if things change in the Barbie world, it affects the real world. And what oh are the drastic God. consequences of Ken finally showing some agency? Ken dolls sell really well, and it makes Mattel a bunch of money? And this is a problem somehow? Even the film kind of lampshades the fact that this doesn't make sense as a real conflict. And as we see our boy, the goose, living out his dream, even turning some of the Barbie dolls into subservient maids, including the trans one, by the way, this is getting fucking gross, guys. Then Latina girl's mom compares what's happening to the Barbie world to millions of Native Americans dying of disease. <laughs> with the indigenous people in smallpox they had no defenses against it women bruh oh my god dude and being subservient this to is men fucking is hilarious. just as bad as genocide you heard it here and we find oh shit you generation with the five gifted memberships big house man appreciate it find out that all of the kens brainwashed all of the barbies to give up their jobs and serve the men if you're expecting a real explanation to how they accomplish this, there isn't one. And look, some of you are waiting for the schizo rant. Well, you found it, guys. You found it. I'll tell you exactly fucking why they wrote this stupid brainwashing plot point. Because they couldn't show that men are physically superior to women. They couldn't show that there are more male geniuses than female geniuses because that would imply that men might be superior to women in any way. So instead, they just expect us to believe that the power of mansplaining made all of the Barbie <laughs> girls serve the men. This is what 
feminists Bruh. actually believe. All right, there's less than 30 minutes left. I can make it through this. Then we actually get another unintentionally funny scene where Barbie cries again and says that female emotions ruined everything. If this movie just had <laughs> a little tiny shred of self-awareness, it would actually be funny, I swear to God. We even get a cutaway to there being a Barbie crying doll that they're now selling to little girls. So Barbie tells the two women to leave. They start leaving Barbie World, and it turns out that Michael Sarah snuck into the back of their car. And then we get an almost funny joke that apparently the 90s band In Sync was all Allens that escaped into the real world. I guess that's almost funny. And then for some reason, Michael Sarah beats up a bunch of construction workers. And while this is happening, the girls decide, oh, let's go back and save Barbie Land. And then we get to see another example of how these women are brainwashed into thinking their accomplishments were not their own. And somehow a man did it or something. Again, straight revisionist Bruh. history propaganda bullshit. Then there's another joke scene. I'm almost tempted to watch this shit when it comes out because this sounds fucking hilarious. Scene where they show discontinued Barbies and one of them can grow her breasts by moving her arms up and down. <laughs> I that... honestly am tempted to watch this shit when it's on Netflix or something because this is fucking hilarious, bro. Sounds like an awesome Barbie doll. Actually, they should have kept selling that one. And then we get the most delusional cope speech from the girl's mom in the entire movie. Again, just the most stereotypical women complaining about society shit you've ever heard. I'm gonna try and play this whole thing. Hopefully the copyright doesn't claim this shit, but you just gotta hear it to believe it. We have to always be extraordinary, but somehow we're always doing the wrong. You have to be thin, but not too thin. And you can never say you want to be thin. You have to say you want to be healthy. You have to answer for men's bad behavior, which is insane. But if you point that out, you're accused of complaining. You're supposed to stay pretty for men, but not so pretty that you tempt them too much or that you threaten other women because you're supposed to be a part of the system. But always stand out and always be grateful. You have to never get old. Yep, fem cell energy, bro. Never show off, never be selfish, never fall down, never fail, never show fear. You never get out of line. It's too hard. It's too contradictory. And nobody gives you a medal or says thank you. And it turns out, in fact, that not only are you doing everything wrong, but also everything is your fault. The funny thing is, I wasn't even that mad when I heard this shit because, again, I've heard it a million times already. And you've probably heard this response I'm about to give a million times too, which is that these women think that men have these expectations for them. But in reality, it's other women that have expectations for each other. The tr yeah, that is true. Truth is, most men these days, women are more competitive with each other than anyone else. Days just want a loyal woman, someone who won't cheat on them, who cares about them for who they are. Well, I promised myself when I was making this video I wouldn't go into any black pill rabbit holes. <laughs> you can tune into one of my late night streams if you want to hear those. So I'll just keep it brief and say that the reason that all these women's collective experiences and opinions of men seem to be so disconnected from reality is because in truth, they are not talking about the majority of men. They're talking about the top 20% of men. So just know whenever women are talking about male privilege, they're not talking about you or me. We don't even exist to them. They're talking about Chad and how everyone treats him well because he's handsome, attractive, tall, successful, probably rich, but whatever, I'm preaching to the choir. I know all of my audience knows this already. I'm wasting my breath, the psychotic feminist types never- Dog, is he playing the fucking male moaning sound from fucking anime? Like, oh, oh my god, I fucking hate that song. He was starting off strong with the fucking Pokemon XD music, but now we're back to fucking gay male moaning from Berserk. Nice. Isiler start at 228. We can check it out, man. Appreciate it.
ever listened to reason, it's why I've always said that debating leftists is a waste of time. Let's finish up the plot of this dog shit movie so I can end this video. So at the end of the scene, we see that Barbie no longer thinks she's pretty enough. I saw it with the two ignore that video. It should be fine, man. We can pull it up. No worries. It's all good. Enough to be stereotypical Barbie, which at first I thought was meta commentary <clears throat> on Margot Robbie God, hitting fuck. the wall. But then the film immediately ruins Dude, his joke by stating that no, that. Margot Robbie is too pretty for this joke to make sense. And so the sense. genius plot that our characters come up with to save the Barbie world is to de-brainwash the Barbies by having the Latina mom complain to them about women's problems. And that de-brainwashes them. And to get a hold of the women, <laughs> they distract men by pretending to be stupid and having the man mansplain to them their own job. Dude, I feel like I've exhausted <laughs> all of my over-the-top reactions for this video. The amount of insane, delusional views of reality that this film puts forth is too much for my oh brain my to God. handle. It really is. Just the fact that other people actually think any of this movie represents reality just shows you why the West is collapsing. Why Dude, this this sounds like one of those movies that you honestly would fucking enjoy watching just because of how bad it is. I don't know. Like, honestly, I had zero interest in watching this movie. Now I want to fucking see it. This sounds entertaining as fuck. I even care about how this film wraps up because you already know what happens. They de-brainwash all the women by bitching and moaning, which again is unintentionally kind of funny. We see Margot Robbie pretending to be Ryan Gosling's girlfriend and then tries to cuck him out of jealousy. And then there's a really gay dance number. And while the song is happening, the women stop the constitution from being changed. And somehow this solves the problems, even though the men defeated the women without even trying the first time. So they probably could just do it again. And then we get to see Ken crying because we have to emasculate men even more in this movie. And he makes an utter fool out of himself, and Barbie just thinks he's fucking pathetic. And of course, they don't get together. And the big message of this part of the movie is Ken needs to find himself. It's just like that fucking Redditor thing where it's like, you can't love someone else until you love yourself. <laughs> yeah, tell that to every goddamn normie in the history of humanity. No normal human had to learn to love themselves before they could love someone else, you stupid worthless play yeah that is such a stupid fucking thing that is a dumb fucking piece of advice attitude repeating npc normie fa <laughs> so now that the day is <laughs> saved will ferrell and the rest of the mattel board show up and say how great this all is or something and the black female president decides to give the kens a tiny amount of inconsequential power big mike and there's a uh, snarky line from the narrator about how Kens will work their way up to having just as much power as women have in the real world. Haha, ha, very funny, haha. Ha. And it turns out that the old lady from earlier in the movie is Ruth Handler, the inventor of the Barbie doll. And don't even bother looking up the early life section of her wiki page, your intuition was right. And Barbie walks away with her into a blank white room straight out of the Matrix. And Barbie decides she wants to become a human. And so the final scene in the movie is her with the Latina family and the beta male cuck dad. And Barbie goes in to see a gynecologist. And that's how the movie ends. I'm serious. My God, people, that has got to be <laughs> one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. Easily Dude, this top shit five. This sounds worst. fucking hilarious, honestly movies i don't know why i did this to myself i guess i thought it would make for <laughs> a funny video funny but i think at the fuck, end i just bro. end up kind of depressed we live in a time where all the bread tubers are pretending that the manosphere and the fandom menace and all that shit are going to destroy relations between men and women and set everything back a hundred years and donald trump is going to take women's rights away and turn the world into the handmaid's tale dude and then you have movies like this that straight up shit on men every moment and say how great women are and somehow in spite of their clear superiority are oppressed by men and you're supposed to swallow all of this and believe it in fact it is fact 
because the news said so, the government said so, the quote unquote scientists said so, ignore all of observable reality, ignore all of your life experiences, ignore the collective life experiences of most males on the planet. No, the authority- Well, yeah, it made a lot of money because of the IP. Like, every single chick that grew up playing with Barbies is gonna go watch this movie. So, it's just the IP value that's drawing people in. Which, I don't- Dude, honestly, if I went to go see this, I would have laughed my fucking ass off and probably ha would have enjoyed myself. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I there's something about movies that are, like, this blatantly fucking bad that just are great. I don't know. I would probably, like, if I went to go see this movie, I would not walk out angry. This shit sounds fucking hilarious, dude. Pretty figures told you to believe something. That means it's true. I fucking hate this movie. I can't believe Ryan Gosling agreed to do this shit. There's he even a moment check, right bro. near the end where they have Ryan Gosling hitting on the trans Barbie, dude. I'm not fucking making this up. This movie is just an hour and 30 minute long male humiliation ritual. And if you watch this with your girlfriend, wife, daughter, whatever, just know that you are participating in that humiliation ritual. You are a beta male cuck if you pay money to see this. That's about it. See you next time. Yeah, I would never pay money to see it, but I'm gonna watch this shit when it comes on Netflix. This sounds fucking hilarious, bro. <laughs> shit sounds fucking weak. I don't know. Like, this is one of those movies that's so bad you would swear it's like a fucking satire. Like, it's an unintentional satire film, bro. I don't know. It's actually fucking funny. This sounds hilarious, bro. But yeah, I ain't paying for this shit. Just like I ain't paying to see Oppenheimer. So... I'll watch that shit when it comes out on Netflix or some shit like that. Oh my god. That was fucking funny. King Samuel with the two, I can't believe what I'm hearing. Dude, this shit's weak as fuck. Like, it's like they were trying to intentionally go for the worst fucking movie they could make. I don't know, man. That's fucking wild. Alright, so where's the actual? There it is. Let's see what this is. Will my mind be changed on this game? Probably not. Do I watch commercial television? No. I don't have cable. Hello, and thanks for checking out the video. With this footage, we'll introduce our new mech action game, Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. We hope it gives you an idea of this title's mood and gameplay. In a future where interstellar travel is commonplace, our story begins in a distant star system on the fictional planet Rubicon 3. Our protagonist, an independent mercenary, is smuggled into Rubicon in search of a mysterious new substance known as Coral. Your position is grid 135. Oof. Off target, but within permissible range. Damn, bro, this shit's still looking like a PlayStation 3 game. There's a catapult ahead. Use it to close the gap. This looks exactly like Armored Core 5, bro. They did not even upgrade the graphics. I mean, they're probably slightly better, but that's rough looking. Huge multi-layered stages will let players make the most of their AC's exceptional movement and attack capabilities. Looks better than Medal of Honor? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck does Medal of Honor have to do with this game? Dude, Elden Ring is very impressive graphically. Compared to this, Elden Ring looks way better. Fly 
I saw that with the two never played Armored Core. Are they worth? Eh, not in my opinion. I've never liked them. I played five thinking it was going to be like, oh, dude, I love From Software games. Five was literally horrible. So if this game is anything like five, I wouldn't recommend it. Dog, in what world does Elden Ring look like this? Come on now. That's some cope. Elden Ring looks way better than this. There's not even fucking grass, dude. It's like a fucking flat polygon with like barely rendered trees poking out of it. Even Halo Infinite's initial reveal had more fucking lush foliage. And that's saying something. Overwhelm enemies with up to four weapons simultaneously, equipped to each arm and shoulder. Really, this is a different universe than uh, Elden Ring? Wow, thanks for pointing that out, bro. I would have never realized that. at your disposal, used for both traversal and combat. Did you hear anything about what the corps are up to? Yeah, they'll be coming soon. Still got that stamina yeah, bar. Run. That's a shame. We're being attacked! Why did it cut? Of your AC's mobility to freely See? Navigate the environment. That's that shit I don't like, bro. Why are they cutting up the gameplay? Why is it cutting? Use boost to take the fight to the air, extending combat dimensions beyond the 2D plane. Is that an independent? Destroy it! It just like fucking skip. <laughs> How do you stagger an airplane? <laughs> what the fuck? How do you stagger a fucking jet? Do I don't know, bro. This is not for me. <laughs> how the fuck? Like, I, I really want to know how that works. How do you stagger a fucking jet? Oh my god. Dog, yeah, no, this this is not going to convince me to buy this game. This is looking like Armored Core 5, just a little slower. I saw there with the 5, forgot to ask, are you playing and streaming Mortal Kombat? Dude, uh, possibly. I typically do buy Mortal Kombat, so maybe. Not sure you missed my other chat, but we've seen the video already. Okay, yeah, no worries, man. We will uh, skip that one, then.
You tickle its engine? Hell yeah. Assembly lets you exchange various parts of your AC at will, including weapons, frame parts such as the head and core. This is the part I fucking hated. And internal parts for power management. Assembling an AC to fit your own playstyle and strategy is crucial to success. And that's the part that was annoying about the previous Armored Core game I played. It's like, you pick the wrong fucking component, you basically cuck yourself, and you have to restart the entire mission. Got a job for you, 621. This one's a request from the Archivist group. Raven, this request comes from Schneider, an Archivist subsidiary. The mission will take place in the Bona Dea dunes of Western Bellius. Our coral investigation there is being blocked by the Strider, a Rubicon Liberation Front mining ship. You are to destroy it. The Strider is a mobile resource base that was extensively weaponized by the Liberation Front. Call it the crowning glory of their efforts to militarize into an anti-corporate force. Your attack will focus on the Eye, a giant laser cannon connected directly to the main generator. It's protected by a shield, which is powered by auxiliary sub-generators. These should be your first targets. This concludes the briefing. Good luck. Time for a little self-promotion, 621. Smash the Strider, and Archibus HQ will be sure to remember your name. Main system, activating combat mode. Commence mission. First, get through all that dust and make contact with the Strider. Here, we're up against an enormous weapon that eclipses our AC in size. Why did it cut? Dude, why don't they just show like 10 minutes of uncut footage? I don't understand the need to like literally basically show a scripted segment of you shooting at the leg, it collapsing, and then it skips all the fucking actual gameplay. <laughs> I don't fucking... There's no such thing as spoilers in these type of games, bro. Dude... The story in this game is big robot shoot bigger robot. That is literally your story. Like, you are not getting any fucking spoilers by watching him blow up a big robot. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh, I saw there with the five. The customization reminds me of Chrome Hounds on 360. It was okay then, but I don't have the patience for this anymore. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just, this is not my type of not my type of game. It looks just like Armored Core Five, if not just a little bit slower. Which I don't really know if it's a good thing or not, but 
I want to see like actual 10 minute uncut footage. That's what I need to see and this ain't it. Some missions will see you partnered up with LIACs. Is it actually multiplayer, or are they just NPCs? Dude, it'll get nominated just because it's a FromSoft game. You already know. Jeff Keighley wants to stay in their good graces, so they keep revealing shit to this show. Objectives will range from protecting targets and information gathering to the annihilation of enemy forces. 50%. Why did they? You can only get to see it. You didn't even get to see him execute the mech, bro. What? Why? But we get to watch the full cutscene. I hear you make fine hounds with the right training. Shame we'll have to die here. Two repair kits remaining. Yeah, this is just armored core. Face a number of dangerous situations. It is what it is, man. Any like any hope of him like dramatically changing the game? This is the same thing. Keep the pressure up in these Same battles. thing as Armored Core 5. It looks like, just, I guess, slightly better graphically. Maybe a little slower. Yeah, this looks slower than... Dude, if you watch boss fights from Armored Core 5, like, that shit's fucking crazy fast. I'll show you all. I mean, I'll pull it up before, but... Thank you for watching. That concludes our introduction to Armored Core 6 Fires. Yeah, hopefully they put a demo out for this game like they did with Elden Ring because try this game before you buy it. Like, I strongly advise you because I thought Armored Core 5 would be good and I was gravely mistaken. I very much disliked it. So, this is definitely one of those I would strongly advise try before you buy because I don't think you're going to be getting exactly what you think.
But yeah, just so y'all see. This is Armor Core 5. That's why I say it's a little, this game was a little faster looking. I mean, it's literally the same thing, just better graphics, man. It's like the same game, pretty much. Yeah, it came out on the PS3. But it's like the exact same gameplay. I think this game looks a little faster, though. Yeah, the controls in these games are very weird. That's another thing I forgot to mention is you watched a professional pretty much. The controls in these games are very odd. I mean, this is basically what the boss fights are like. Uncut, I guess I should say. Yeah, hopefully they uh, refine the controls in uh, 6. But, yeah, I don't know, man. Let's see, Genesect King revived with the two perfect game fly game. Yeah, no, it will be. No, it's definitely, like, honestly, try before you buy. Because hopefully they have a beta or demo or whatever the fuck they want to call it. Or a network test, whatever it is. Because that definitely will give you an idea of if you're going to like this game or not. Is there a beta on Steam? I mean, if there is, maybe I'll try it, but... I don't know. I sat over the five thoughts on older COD being played a lot now. I think it's super... I don't think so, honestly. I think it's going to maintain a pretty uh, loyal player base. I mean, look at games like CSGO, for example. A million concurrent players, and it came out in 2012. So, no, I think a lot of people wanted to play old COD, but they weren't able to because, you know, the servers were dead. So I think there's always going to be a loyal fan base playing those games. I think there's definitely a demand. I mean, will it be like 100,000 people on concurrently at all times? Maybe not, but 10, 20,000? Definitely. I could see that. Could definitely see that shit. All right. So, first recommended. This is going to be interesting. We have female Ben Shapiro. Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. In the last couple of months, I have talked a few times about men not dating in. Okay, I'm going to speed it up because I really don't care that much. <laughs> We'll see the how modern this... relationship landscape. And so many of them are choosing to stay single. But I have not touched on women recently. And in all of these reports and these articles talking about men choosing to stay single, they say that yes, the majority of men are not dating, but women are still dating. And most of them are actually in relationships, which I thought was interesting. And I kind of brushed off and moved on because I was more interested. No, that's not entirely true. It's that younger women are in relationships with older men and younger men are not in relationships because women their own age are opting for older men. So... It's just kind of like a delayed thing. That's the reason for the skew in the stats. 
interested in why men were not dating. But then I saw this video going viral on TikTok and Twitter, and it made the whole thing a lot more confusing. So we're going to try to break it down. Before we do, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. Here is the video in question. Millions of people have seen it, so you might have seen it already. But if not, here we go. I'm actually starting to get so scared. Like, it's not even funny anymore. How am I 23 and I still have not had my first kiss? Like, like, it's so horrifying. When I was like 22, 21, I was like, haha, it's kind of cute, kind of quirky. Like, not really, but kind of. Like, I could play it off. Now it's getting scary. Like, I don't see it changing anytime soon. And, like, I just keep getting. Oh my God, let me help you. Is this Brit? Older. Now it's gonna be so weird because I'm gonna be so old and I'm gonna have to tell somebody, like, yeah, I've never done this before. Like, I'm so humiliated. I didn't even have a first kiss in like middle school when everybody has one. And Brit, it's like is this your TikTok? Where you're dating them for like a day. I never even did that. I don't know. I'm really starting to feel like something's wrong with me. Like, I don't know why I am the way I am, but it's not good. It's so funny when she talks about the middle school relationships where you only date somebody for a day. I always felt weird in college because I never had any. Yeah, that chick could easily just talk to like any normal guy and probably get into a fucking uh, relationship pretty easily. So I don't know those either people would talk about their high school relationships, and, the middle school relationships shy, and i just lacked all of that i was like i don't really know that's really really weird i didn't have any of those experiences you're holding my hand chuck you sly dog so i understand what she's saying this video obviously went viral and women are resonating with it so many of them are also in the exact same boat as this girl like somebody said i had no romantic experience no typical teenager and college student experiences it feels so empty another person said every year i'm like this is the year and then it's not again another person said girl i'm 27 and even my hands were never held another person said i just turned 24 and i'm feeling the exact same way not even a crumb of romance somebody said 23 haven't had my first kiss or anything else don't worry girl it'll happen we've got this it's just interesting to see so many women be totally honest and upfront about this because in our modern age where everything is hyper sexualized and everybody is you know starting to have sex at a much younger age and everybody is just much more mature than they were you know mature 20 30 years ago it's just interesting how much of a stigma there is around not having a first kiss or not having a boyfriend and that's such a stupid thing i hate using the term social construct but i feel like that is a correct place to use social construct it does not matter if you're 23 and you've not kissed a guy it's okay you don't need to be humiliated by it that's you know i understand there is social pressure but it is not the end of the world at all you do not need to feel upset about it just read these comments oh -uh, dude i've held my mom's hand shut the fuck up bro there are other girls that are in the same boat as you now on twitter people were desperately trying to rationalize it like this girl said she's not ugly or anything so it seems like the answer yes it is something wrong with her as in she's extremely introverted or picky can't imagine what else would explain it other people were saying that she might have family problems so she has like avoidant attachment issues which is just like we don't know this girl come on guys like this person called it out and said i love how the men in the comments see women as having standards as to who they date and sleep with and exercising restraint as some kind of undiagnosed problem but then if these women did date and said that they hadn't had a successful relationship then they would be calling them a slut and that is just the internet my friends i'm not trying to call out these individual commenters but that's just the internet you literally cannot win everybody's gonna have an opinion about everything i have an opinion about everything i'm on the internet so that's just kind of how it works welcome to the internet my friend how can i help you somebody said maybe she wants a meaningful relationship with somebody she has a mutual connection with and not a one-night stand shocker some girls just don't want to kiss a guy to get it over with i had a really really good friend who had not had a first kiss you know into her 20s and a lot of our other friends were just saying you know go get drunk just go find somebody just kiss him just kiss him and she didn't want to do that and that was her prerogative and that was totally fine she did want to wait and i'm proud of her for that i'm glad that she stuck by her guns and it's just never kiss during sex it's gay that's right i'm key because those lips were just around the tip of your cock 100 percent, bro this is a great comment because obviously saving lives out here there is a social pressure to date somebody and to just have those experiences for the sake of you know having them as a young adult but if she is picky and maybe she just hasn't had great relationships with men in the past hasn't had great options maybe this will help her out more in the end because she actually is kind of preserving herself and protecting herself somebody else said i think she's normal i was 20 when i got into my first relationship people are delaying a lot of things these days it also doesn't help that people don't know how to socialize nah most chicks can't fucking deep throw my guy post-covid dating is apocalyptic guys it really is i think that socially we're all just very very confused especially with all of the socio-political nonsense and how divided we are and how people are very confused about gender roles i just think nobody knows what they're actually doing and we live in this digital age but we still you know want more traditional things we want a guy to come up to us in person you know i know this may be surprising but most chicks are not going to bruise the back of their fucking throat with your dick when they start sucking it bro get the uh porn expectations out of your mind we want to meet a girl in real life, whatever <laughs> like it is, shit, but we now live dude. in this digital age and everybody is living online. Yeah, think about a large object slamming against the back of your throat, bruh. And how many people would think that feels good? Yeah, no. Most people have a gag reflex, my guy. Because we didn't leave our houses for three years. It's just it's so <laughs> confusing. And I think everybody's struggling. You're not alone. That's actually the What point. about I'm a small here, object? I'm trying to think of ideas for people because I get these comments all the time. Like, Brett, how do I meet somebody? There's nobody in my area. What should I do? And right now for the girls, I'm like, really? At this point, you just need to go stand out by a grill with a grill blazer and hope that it attracts a guy. And I know you might be tired of waiting ages for a man to come up to you and ask you out, but you also might be tired of waiting ages for your grill to heat up. Well, now you can say goodbye to one of those problems. You can say- The fuck? Grills? 
Gal said, once upon a time, you would have been seen as a princess in society for not having your first kiss by this age, and now it is weird. And that is an excellent point, and kind of what I was saying earlier, where you don't need to be humiliated by this. Years ago, that was very desirable, and to a lot of men, it still is. I silent with the five, not only that, chicks don't want you blasting in their face. That's right. Messes up their makeup. And if you are going out with a guy and you tell him you've never kissed anybody before, that this is your first relationship, oh, I'm doing this all for the first time, and he acts weird about it, get out! That is a red flag. Do not hide that because you're too nervous. That's stupid. A good moral person will think that that is something to be admired or will simply just not care because they like you. So do not be humiliated by it. You don't need to be worried about it. This was my favorite comment though. A guy said, be right back. I downloaded TikTok and I'm gonna go under this video on the comments to find my wife. Honestly, not a bad plan, guys. There's a lot of girls that are, are waiting out there. One guy said, y'all wanted a career and equal rights. That's what happened. There are literally tens of millions of men who would treat you ladies like royalty right now. However, you don't want them. How's feminism working out? Oof. I think that this is definitely true in a lot of cases. And it reminds me of the episode we did relatively recently about the liberal woman who was ranting on TikTok about how she wanted a traditional conservative man, but didn't want that traditional conservative man to be politically conservative. She just wanted to be treated well by a traditional man because that was not happening with her more feminine liberal male counterparts. And this girl was so fed up that these Democrat conservative traditional men rarely exist and that if they do exist, they do not want a self-absorbed girl boss who thinks that having his babies is akin to slavery and oppression. And that is definitely a her problem through and through. I have no idea what the girl in this new video values or what her type is, what her experiences are, what her politics are. So I don't want to put that on her. I'm not going to just say a blanket statement that like it's a her problem because the truth is i see her in a lot of my friends my very cute sweet conservative girlfriends girls who are in their mid-20s and are sweet and funny and kind and smart but have simply had terrible luck with guys they put themselves out there they go to church they try to meet people they put themselves in positions to be asked out by guys they ask out guys and it still doesn't go anywhere do people actually go to church to try and pick up people like i thought that was a joke whenever people have said that shit i'm like dog what is that like the hookup spot for people nowadays? Like, people go to church looking to get their back blown out? <laughs> like, the fuck? <laughs> that would be like the last place. Dude, even after the fucking gym that I would ever think to like, f like hit on a chick. Like, what the fuck? I don't know, bro. I feel like it's more appropriate to hit on a girl at the gym than fucking church. And there's people that I really value and I look at and I'm looking at them and I'm like, you don't have any like problems. <laughs> like, like what's going fuck? on? It's hard right now. And sure, yes, women do hold the key to intimacy and sex. If a woman wants to go be kissed, it's very easy to go out there and get kissed and get laid, whatever you want. But if they want something more meaningful and more intentional, they don't want to just give it all away. Dude, I got a bunch of pride churches around me. I ain't going there. I ain't trying to die in a fire. Hey. It is definitely harder in this day and age. And in my opinion, it's probably better to wait versus just wasting your time on something because you feel the social pressure to just do it. And that goes for men too. At the end, you have just wasted your energy on time on somebody that might not value you and something that might not be long-term. One thing I will say though, is that thanks to feminism and the Me Too movement and women believing that they don't need men, yada, 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 how we date has totally changed. And I think that that has contributed a lot to what this girl is feeling. Women told men, you know, don't ask me out. I don't need you. That is literally harassment. Do not come up to me. But deep down, they still want to be asked out. Deep down, they still want to be pursued because they're women. We are designed to be pursued and the men are designed to do the pursuing. It's so sad, but if you Google it, there are all of these Quora and Reddit threads of women being so sad that they aren't getting asked out and they feel like they have to do the pursuing or that something is wrong with them, which is something that my girlfriends and I have also experienced. Like that is a very normal experience in 2023. Like this girl said, why does it seem like men don't ask women out anymore? I'm 29, I was asked out in high school. Because you're gonna get fucking filmed and put on the internet. <laughs> oh my God, he's, he's looking at an underage 21 year old. Because all these bitches be filming everything, bro. Why the fuck would you ever risk that shit? And then people try to get you fucking fired. In middle school, but it seems like the world changed in college and now men just want to hook up and they stare at women but don't ask them out. And my response to that one too, at like 29, if you're single and you're trying to date, especially in this day and age, you know, I'm sure a lot of the guys are already in committed relationships or, you know, they are married by now. But there still are good guys out there. And the guys that are out there, ask out the girl because she wants to be asked out. Somebody else said, I'm a 27-year-old female. I'm so tired of having to ask out and chase men. A combination of receiving my hinge data and getting stood up tonight has left me really confused on how to proceed with online dating and wondering what I'm doing wrong. Another girl who's 23 said, I've never been asked out by anyone. I feel so lonely and unwanted. I'm begging you all for help and advice. She's never been in a relationship. She's never been asked out by anyone. And she's just... How fat is she? So sad she feels so lonely and she wants to be desired by somebody and guys there are girls in the comment how fat is she that's that feel lonely the ones that don't have a picture attached i don't trust that really want to have their hands held. And I want to say this to the guys. I know that feminism has screwed up a lot of stuff. And I know that it has made it really, really terrible. And as a woman, I apologize for that. But I just want to say in my circles and the women that I've talked to. Dude, any normal looking chick. All she has to do is start a conversation with the guy. 
no guy is going to be upset that a woman starts a conversation with him. Like, dude, if a semi-attractive girl walks up to pretty much any dude, no guy is going to be like, oh my God, I'm in a relationship. Get away from me. Like, no one's going to fucking care. Like, that's the thing. So if you're really, like, that desperate, just literally go talk to somebody. Worst thing you hear is, oh, I'm in a relationship. But no guy is actually going to be a fucking dick about it. The other way around, though, hell fucking nah. You'll get, like, you know, called a harasser. They'll try to fucking put you on fucking TikTok and get you fired from your fucking job and shit like that. So, you know, the dynamic's very fucking different. So, no guy is going to be upset that a girl is showing interest in him unless that chick is hideous or... Well, if she's fat, she's hideous. But, yeah, you get the point. Unless you're fucking ugly as fuck... No guy is ever going to be upset that a semi-attractive to attractive girl walks up to him and shows a little bit of interest. No dude is going to give a fuck. But the other way around, you can't say the same. Two and the friends of my friends, when a guy comes up and compliments us like genuinely in real life, even if they're not asking us out, if they're just being kind, that means the world because it doesn't happen anymore. And even if nothing comes of it, us girls still walk away saying that's really impressive that he had the balls to come up and ask us because it never happens anymore. So just just know that. Somebody tweeted and said, Zoomer men are literally afraid to approach women, probably for a variety of reasons. One of them is a partly justified fear of being accused of something untoward. Men who lack this fear can practically have any woman who exists in his social milieu. And I just want to say, guys, girls also do not want to be asked to hang out. Some girls might think that that is being asked on a date. I do not think that it is the same. Be very very intentional. Do not confuse her. And girls, that goes for you too. Do not play games with everybody. Just needs to stop playing games with everybody. Be intentional with your time and what you are asking so that we can all have some clarity and move on. Now, to the girls, I also say, make sure that you seem open and approachable. If you look sour and angry and you have this whole girl boss like, I don't need any man, you're standing out in a public space, no man is going to approach you. I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen. They will not ask you out. They will not come up to you. And a guy asking you out is not an attack. Now, I know the women who follow me are not idiots, and so they do not think that it is an attack, but if somebody else sees this, it is not an attack or harassment if a nice guy comes up to you and asks you out. That is a very good thing. That is what you want. The caveman approach? Yeah, just run up to him and throw him over your shoulder. King Samuel with the five. My problem is I don't ask out the girls I like fast enough. I have the knack of meeting girls I like, but very briefly, and I don't see them again. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I mean, my issue is I don't fucking go anywhere, but, you know. It is what it is at the end of the day. I don't know. Like, there's no, like, one-size-fit-all fucking solution for this type of shit. But, I don't know. That it's an attack. I'm sorry. You'll be single forever, and that will be your fault. Because your life is your fault. Now, men, ask them out in person. Or on dating apps. I don't care. But take the first step and ask them out. Your men, your job is to pursue. And to everyone, spend time offline. Like, I don't mean just get off of online dating because it can be helpful. I know that people use it in this modern day. That's totally fine. But start finding community elsewhere. Dating apps will not totally fix loneliness or a need for camaraderie and confidence. Confidence will come from the people that you are being around in real life. They will encourage you. They will hopefully help you find somebody. Yeah, dating apps are a waste of time, bro. Because all the chicks that are actually worth dating are not usually on fucking dating apps. Because... Usually they just get asked out anyway. <laughs> like you're scraping the bottom of the barrel, unfortunately, on dating apps. I mean, there's sometimes you can find like normal people on there, but 80% of the time it's horrible. Especially now, it used to be good, actually. When Tinder first came out, that shit was fire. But nowadays, hell no. Nah. Especially if you don't live in a college town, then it's like, holy fuck, dude, what is this shit? You get all, like, that's the thing. Meet someone when you're in school, whether that be high school or college, because once you're out in the fucking grand ocean of candidates, you're kind of fucked. <laughs> you're kind of fucked, man. So 